Today's an exciting day because we just received the truck. Every year we are tasked with doing a new SEMA project. This year we're doing the 2022 Tundra and we're going the off-road theme. First impression, hood's pretty long on it. Our team is the first ones who have received this vehicle. I see hybrid. Check out rear suspension on this. They're using a four link with coil springs instead of the old leaf springs. Cool to see for, I think, the project that we're gonna be doing. My vision for this vehicle is to do a pre-runner chase truck, but still have it legal on the streets. So it's gonna be everything about durability, toughness, all the different things that are involved with off-road. It's radically different. I mean, radically different from the old. This is not a, a, a makeover. It's a complete redesign from what I can see. There's two things that surprise me. The amount of room in the back seat is insanely huge. And then the other part was under the hood, having the hybrid motor with a truck was pretty awesome to see, but also unexpected, along with the, the rear end being a four link now. Pretty exciting to be able to do a little bit more without as much modification, I guess you could say. So we pulled the engine cover off. You can see the intercooler right there. You can see the inlets, the air inlets, and they're a nice hard composite. So obviously there's two turbos down there. So we're, we're looking at the renderings of what we're going to do in the back of the new TRD Pro. A side profile view of what we're hoping. It'll look pretty slick. Follow the roof line up a little bit. Follow the C-pillars. There's the actuator for the lights. Hit the button. This thing starts pulling in against each other and those lights start going up. So we want something modular that'll fit in a five and a half foot bed. It'd be really nice to be able to just say, all you have to do is pick this up, pull your bed bolts out, bolt it down, and now you have a complete system. As for suspension, we're gonna do some really cool coilovers, remote reservoir, wheels and tires on this. We're definitely gonna go rugged on wheels and tires also. Picture a 37 inch wheel tire package inside of here. The interior of this vehicle is pretty sweet. For me, this is really exciting because uh, it brings me back to my roots. I was a 21-year-old kid and got my first job in racing, and that was with Toyota's off-road racing program with Ivan Stewart. And I learned so much about off-road. And so being able to go back and circle back around 35 years later and build an off-road truck again is, is pretty exciting. As far as challenges go, we're gonna have the same problems that we have almost every year at SEMA, and that's the time. You could give me a deadline that's three and a half years from now, and we're still gonna figure out a way to use every one of those minutes up until the end and still have to do all-nighters at the end. The third generation Toyota Tundra is a premium towing machine. This is thanks not only to its enormously powerful new powertrains and high strength construction, but also a wide range of advanced next-gen technologies available through the Advanced Towing Package. These great new features are designed to work with Toyota's integrated trailer brake controller to help take the stress out of towing. Whether you're bringing the fishing boat to the lake for the weekend, or a cargo trailer filled with furniture for your first new home. Let's take a few minutes to go over what's new. To make the most of your towing experience, Tundra offers an available trailer garage system. Built right into Tundra's multi-information display, or MID, this system allows you to register and save multiple trailers so that the right settings can easily be loaded whenever they're attached. That's because a travel trailer RV and a flatbed ATV cart have entirely different requirements. But once you register them in your virtual garage, Tundra will know what to do with both just fine. Anyone who's ever had to back up with a trailer knows it can be a headache to keep things pointed where you want them. And that's exactly where Trailer Backup Guide comes in. Once calibrated, this system offers two types of driver assistance, a guidance mode and a straight path assist mode. In guidance mode, the system will overlay arrows onto the overview camera view to indicate which way the trailer is turning, making it easy to make corrections yourself. This is important because steering with a trailer can be pretty counterintuitive if you're not experienced with the process. But the real party trick is straight path assist. 
With this system, all you have to do is control the gas and brakes, and the system will handle all of the steering for you, making whatever adjustments it needs to keep the trailer pointed in its original direction, regardless of the angle of the truck itself. That's right, jackknifing is officially a thing of the past. Sure, blind spot monitor is not a new feature on its own, but with the third generation Tundra, it's now designed to work while the truck is towing. That means that when a trailer is attached, the blind spot monitor will now watch for vehicles in an extended detection zone that's based on the system's estimation of trailer length. And the best part is, this trailer mode BSM functions entirely on its own, automatically detecting the trailer and estimating its length without any input from the driver. It doesn't just stop at blind spot monitor though, as Tundra's Toyota Safety Sense 2.5 suite has also now been specially tuned for use when the truck is towing with the integrated trailer brake controller. At highway speeds, one of the most important keys to both efficiency and stability is how a vehicle cuts through the air. It's aerodynamics. This is doubly true when that vehicle is towing, and that's exactly why Toyota outfitted the third-generation Tundra with an active front spoiler. This component is designed to automatically open a flap underneath Tundra's chin once speeds go above 37 miles per hour, which helps the airflow above and around the vehicle instead of underneath. However, it's also able to recognize when a trailer is attached, including the type of trailer, and adjust its operation accordingly to help maintain optimal efficiency and stability.